Hi everybody and welcome to Know Your PC. I'm Alou. I'm Bob. And today we're here to show you how to use the photo application on your HP TouchSmart PC. That's right. Today we're going to be working with the all-in-one computer, the iQ500 series with intuitive touch. All right. So we're going to show you how to load your photos, how to edit your photos, make them exactly how you want, and then show you how to create a slideshow. Indeed. But one key thing we're missing right now. What is it? Pictures. We're missing pictures, everybody. So you know what that means. Let's go take some. Field trip? All right. Let's field trip it up. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, so we're here in San Francisco, California at Pier 39. And we're going to take a lot of photos so we can show you how to upload them on your HP TouchSmart PC. Right? Sound good? Yep. All right, let's get started. Let's do it. Let's go. Wendy! Did you see all those sea lions laying down there on top of each other? It's so cute. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right, now we're ready to go. So there are two ways that you can load your photos onto the HP TouchSmart PC. That's right. One is through your USB cable. Okay, I have mine right here. All right, and the other is through this SD card, which I will show you how to do that after you go first. Okay, so I will plug the business end into my camera, there and then go. this goes in the USB slot. Now you have uh, you have your slots on the side here or in the back. I'm just going to, for easy access, use the side, and then I have to turn my camera on. Keep talking to me. Connected to the computer. Here we go. There you see your camera, the HP PhotoSmart R840. So from there you can import pictures. All right. So I'm just going to press import pictures. Right now in the bottom right corner here it says importing pictures and videos. So you have to label. Bob's Pier 39 Picks. Enter. So it's importing. Oh, I took 28 pictures. I was quite the Ansel Adams out there. Yeah, you did take a lot of pictures. All right. So there's all our photos. It automatically pops up in the photo gallery. Okay. I'm going to close this out. And now I'm going to remove all right. my oh, camera. Cool. Okay. okay, while you're doing that, I will go ahead and take the card out right here. And there's a slot here on the right side, and you want the label part of your little SD card facing forward. Put that in there, then the green light goes on as soon as you put that in there. You can Much see faster. Yeah, yeah, you can see how it's... All right, so once again here, you just uh, go ahead and touch import pictures. Now you're going to have to type in your photo gallery. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to go with Malou's photos. How's that? Import. I didn't take as many as you. Look how fast that was. The gallery automatically pops up again. Now I'm going to show you how to access those photos using HP TouchSmart. Okay, Great. so mm -hmm. I'm going to touch the home right here, the house in the bottom right corner. And there you can see, oh look at our pictures are already showing up there. So I'm going to touch photos once. All right, so you can see that it's nicely organized in folders right there. And so since we labeled them, you can see that you have Bob's Pier 39 photos and then Malou's picture. So I'm going to touch that. All There's right. all of our photos right there. Yes. Okay, so let's see some of these photos here. Let's go ahead and choose, oh look at you right here. <laughs> I'll choose that one right there. <laughs> nice things you can do here. You can rotate, you can crop. You want to make sure that you got the HP update because these are new features right now. Right. All right. So if I can show you here that uh, you can crop a photo, touch crop. Right. You can see the box just appears right there. Look how fun. If you keep your finger on the screen here, you can move the box around and crop it out. And crop which, the old man out otherwise. If we wanted to. Of course, we don't want to do that. Nah. Or we can even make it smaller by touching one of the circles right here. Keep your finger on that. Smaller, bigger. See how nice that is? Very nice. Then once you touch crop, it'll crop exactly where you want it to, okay. so where you've left the square. So I will touch crop. Crop it up. Okay. The other thing that you can do is you can fix red eye. Okay. okay. So there's a little fix red eye button. You will see right there, look at the zoom function. So, oh, nice. You can zoom in. Whoa, too What's far, too far, too that. far. What's you can see on? my feelings. What's going on in there? <laughs> okay. And then the way that you can fix red eye is if you touch right here on the screen, if you keep your finger there, you'll see a box a white box and once you release your finger there it'll fix the red eye it'll automatically. Red eye. Is that nice? That's awesome. Okay so then you just save your changes and you touch save. Then we'll touch return. I'm going to choose this photo because look we are sideways. Uh oh. Okay so once you select that photo you can rotate. It was really hard to actually be sideways <laughs> for that photo but uh, you know we did it. There's a rotate button right there oh, okay. so I'll just touch that and look it'll rotate. Oh, look how cute we look. See how nice that is? Okay, and then you just touch return if you're all done with that. And then you can see all the photos there. You can also upload your photos to Snapfish. Okay. Just so you know, that is a website where you can view and share photos or you can buy photos. But you have to have a Snapfish account. And you have to have your own internet connection not provided for you by HP. How about if you print a photo? Which one do you want to print? 
Where let's is see. that photo? Let's print this one right here. Perfect. So to print this photo, we're going to need a printer. And I have one dun, 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 down here. All right, so here's our printer. It's our HP 7260. All right, and uh, you can have regular eight and a half by 11 photo paper or four by six, which everybody's normally used to for photos. One of your disclaimers though, printer not included. Printer not included, that's yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> and I will show you guys how to choose either eight and a half, 11 or four by six for your photos. All right, so let's go to home button and then go back to the Windows icon. And I'm gonna press the start button in the lower left corner. I'm gonna go to control panel. All right, I am viewing the control panel in the classic view. All right, and then I'm going to find the printer. It's right here, thank you. And I double click that, and then I'm the HP PhotoSmart D7200 series, that's what I want, double click that. Up here it says printer on the top row, and I'm gonna go to printing preferences, okay? And under printing preferences, you'll see on the left-hand side here, like general everyday printing, which is your eight and a half by 11, and then it says photo printing borderless, which is your four by six. So I'm gonna highlight that, I'm gonna press okay, and that way it will access the four by six tray. All right, so I'm gonna close out everything. And You're good at touching. thank you, I have practice. <laughs> Get us back into the photo. And we're back to me and my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see where it says print photos, That's it right. is highlighted. You wanna make sure that your printer is plugged in because if it's not plugged in, that button will not be highlighted. That's right. There are several different ways uh, you can connect your printer to your PC. I've got ours connected via a USB cable that I put in the back in the connectors here. You can also do it wirelessly. All right. Now, some people might have the old serial ports or whatnot, and uh, you might have to get an adapter for that. If you do have an older printer uh, and you're using the HP TouchSmart PC, the IQ500 series, uh, you might have Windows Vista 64-bit. You may have to download the 64-bit printer driver. Shall we print now? Now we can print. Okay, let's print your photo. You'll see a little print photo button. All right. Brightens up there, so you can go ahead and print the photo. Go ahead. Shall I? There we go, you just touch that. Let's us know that it's gonna start. Here we go, I can hear it. All right, and we're done printing. Ooh, that looks good. Check this out. Look at the red eyes all gone too. You're not so scary anymore, Dad. Mm-hmm. Gonna frame it. <laughs> He's a good sport for doing that. All right, so. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna show you how to create a slideshow. Okay. Okay, so if you're looking at the screen right now, and you're saying, I don't have that button that says create slideshow. That's because that is a new feature. You wanna make sure that you accept right. your HP update. Right. And you can create and save your own slideshows. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to touch create slideshow. Takes us back to our photos. Yes, you see all your photos there. You can add your photos one of two ways. You can hit the plus sign there and touch the plus sign, right. or you can drag and drop. So why don't we drag and drop? Okay. Pick some photos here. All right, I like uh, this one with me and the thumbs up. Okay, I like this one too that says Pier 39. Make sure that you, when you drag and drop, that you lift the photo up, okay? And I'm gonna add the one that has Alcatraz in it. Okay. All right, so after you decide on which photos you want in your slideshow, you have to name and save your slideshow. Okay. So I'll go ahead and type in Pier 39. From there, make sure that you touch save. There you will see one of your slideshows. So what you can do from there is go ahead and touch play slideshow. Awesome. What memories. Great times. <laughs> All right, so we just showed you how to use the photo application on the HP TouchMart PC. Have fun with it. Absolutely, and if you have any more questions, or you wanna learn more about the HP TouchSmart PC, you can always go to hp.com slash touchsmart. Or you can also send us an email at knowyourpc at hp.com. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I'm Bob. And I'm Malou, see you next time.